So as the race blasted away, it was Christopher Dryspring who led with Tuck Tuck behind him, Aditya Patel, and then Aidan Reed, quick starting Lamborghini running third. It had been two laps behind the safety car because of the wet nature of the conditions, but when we went racing, it didn't last very long because coming up to the green flag, this accident took out of the race the lone Ferrari of Jack Jiang. So the safety car was deployed once again and everybody bunched up. Take two, Tim Sutton ran a little bit wide and that enabled Marchi Lee to come through. Crucial as he tried to get up with the 999 Mercedes for the championship. Aditya Patel pulled off a really good move against Christopher Dryspring to go for the race lead, while Frank Yu got ahead of GT4 as all the Porsche Caymans were trading paint and swapping places. But the pit window opened, Lot came in early to get driver one out, the quicker second driver in. At roughly the halfway point, Aditya Patel, who'd not put a wheel wrong, came in to give way to Mitch Gilbert. The OD racing car being able to rejoin in the lead, despite the best efforts of Phoenix, who brought in Marchie Lee, put Sean Tong behind the wheel, and that car rejoined significantly ahead of championship rival Mercedes, number 999. Maxi Boot got ahead, though. That gave the team's championship to Gripper M, and it also meant that Hunter Abbott is closer to the Audi drivers within the championship. There was no stopping the 86 Audi though. Mitch Gilbert drove away as a great move here by Martin Rump, put him around the outside of Sandy Stubik and he gained a place with Alessio Piccariello being able to follow through as the car's concertina coming into turn eight. That delayed the Lamborghini enough to let Piccariello have the pick of the lines. He went for the outside and that became the inside as the road switched across. He gunned it on a wet part of the road and the drive out of the corner was sensational. Through he went. A snaking Sandy Stuvik dropped back and then Piccariello made his move against Martin Rump. He went through, diving down towards turn one. The lead gap though was hovering around the five second mark as up towards the chequered flag came Mitch Gilbert to score victory in round 11 of Blancpain GT Series Asia.